uh, eight months according old. to the uh, the bed. Um, she recommends it that like uh, um, normally they let them grow until like a full growth after four years and then after when they reach the four years, they neuter them. That's one of the recommendations of the bed. First of all, that's hearsay, so I'm striking it. Second of all, it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous and no vet ever said that to you. Wait until they're four years old. <laughs> It's Your like, Honor? Oh, wait until the boy is about 26 and then we'll circumcise him. <laughs> Ouch. You breached the contract. You had a contract with her. Your contract with her is that she would be permitted to recoup whatever investment she would have had in selling the dog by being able to breed the dog and use him as stud and sell his puppies. You can't just decide that you don't want to do that. Now, you want to give the dog back to her? Uh, Your Honor, let me explain this to just you. Just a second. Okay. Do you want to give the dog back no, to her? No, Your Honor. Then, then... That dog, it is kind of like a member of my family. Of course. So you don't want to give the dog back to her. Now, Miss Burke, at some point, in addition to everything else, in addition to this piece, you paid for a surgery on the dog. Yes, Your Honor. Why did your dog need surgery? Uh, when he was a puppy, he was about six months old. Um, he have an, uh, um, we thought first that like a, the dog eats something. So Do he you got have the stomach. medical records? I don't have the medical records for that one, but I got the texts when I actually pay for the surgery and, and uh, Miss Burke texts me and then we divide that one with the other co-owner of the dog because she has a co-owner breeder. And then I actually, the one well, who went to the- If you want him to pay for the dog, He's not returning the dog to you. So you have to understand that, Miss Burke. I'm not ordering that. The dog has been in his home now for over three years. So you sell the puppies for how much? Well, at that time, 2,100. They're now 2,500. At that time, 2,100. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you want to keep the dog, that's what you have to pay her. $2,100. I understand. You have to pay her the $2,100 if you want to keep your dog. Otherwise, you have to give it back to her, which would be cruel because the dog is bonded in your home mm -hmm. and you want to keep it. Yes. The dog needed surgery. Who paid for it? Um, the bill was just over $4,000. I have it here. My co breeder and I paid $3,200 and he paid $1,000. Well, that was the arrangement, correct? No, it wasn't the arrangement. The arrangement was. No, that, just a second. Oh. Don't show that to me. That's what you agreed to when the puppy was six months old? Because he didn't have, no, it was four, three months old, Your Honor, so and just he didn't have second. the money. Listen to me. I'm not interested. Okay. That was your agreement when the puppy was three months old? He paid the $1,000 you or $800, you paid the rest? I don't want to hear about that three years later. He owes you for the dog. Dog was $2,100 at that mm -hmm. time? Okay, good, $2,100, judgment for the plaintiff. Wait, I, We're done. I have a question to ask you, Your Honor. I don't answer questions, goodbye.